So today I am talking about the book that I read, and it is Celebration of Discipline by Richard J. Foster. So I chose this book for an assignment, but I chose this one because it was one that spoke out to me, and it was not just another book on the shelf or just another assignment to do. It was something that helped me grow spiritually. But uh, in the book, Foster divides 12 spiritual disciplines into three categories, the inward category, inward discipline, outward discipline, and corporate discipline. The first major section of the book involves the inward disciplines, which are meditation, praying, fasting, and study, which helps us personally with our inward beliefs. Foster then examines four outward disciplines, simp simplicity, solitude, submission, and service, which helps us express our beliefs. Foster's final section involves corporate disciplines, which are confessions, worship, guidance, and celebration. Finally, Foster concludes the discipline of celebration, which he notes is central to all the disciplines. He writes that God, God's normal mean of bringing joy is by redeeming and sanctifying the ordinary junk, junctures of human life. He encourages people to cultivate a wide aberration of life in which people don't work all the time but find joy and rest in the many good things God has placed around them. Two things that stuck out to me were in meditation and prayer. Um, what I got out of meditation was the uh, that in our society our enemy focuses on three things. Noise, hurry, and crowds. Concerning meditation, Foster claims Christian's meditation is very simple. It's the ability to hear God's voice and obey his word. He states Jesus has not stopped acting and speaking. And to me, it blows my mind that God is still meditating and acting and speaking on us and over us, no matter how many times we deny or push him away, because we continue to do that over and over throughout many years, of course, of our over mankind history, but um, and prayer. What stuck out to me is that he notes prayer is a central avenue God uses to transform us. He adds all. He says in the book, all who have walked with God have viewed prayer as the main business of their lives. This stuck out to me because God shows us how strong prayer truly is, changing the way we are mentally and physically. Uh, yeah, but. Just to know that he continuously transforms us, transforms us even though we, we can't get better because we're continuously doing the wrong thing, doing things we know we're not supposed to do. But God continues to transform us through prayer when we give him a turn of our life to him. But uh, I like to recommend this book if you want to follow the 12 disciplines that will help you become stronger in him and in yourself because... This book has helped me in tennis ways. Uh, there's a chapter over solitude, and I have a solitude project coming up, and it's helped me a lot to understand what I need to do to um, to do this project.